I put a block on in further action. I put a block on further action, good night. This is a test of the emergency broadcast. This is a reverse intervention. Ordinarily, a whole bunch of people get together and call out their brother or sister who's seriously gone wrong in trouble. I'm here tonight in occupation of my heart and my mind to protest. My reasons for this protest are as follows. The occupation of Monroe Park, scheduled for tomorrow night, is ill-advised. It is as if folks oh, want to hurry up, all filled up with an adrenaline rush, and jump into illegal nitro-powered street racing when we have the capacity to take Occupy Richmond to a grand NASCAR, NASCAR spectacle. I'm sorry, I have a block on this. I have a right to stand here. Park occupation is ill prepared to deal with the safety of those that call the police and have me arrested because I'm exercising my right to free speech. We did it downtown the canal and I'll do it here tonight. I'm sorry, I apologize to my dear friends, I apologize to you and all the people. Hopefully, in about three minutes, I will sit down. I know, both sides and I there are people all over the world who truly wish that they could go back to that one moment that would have stopped tragedy from happening. Occupy Richmond has This isn't humane, this is a forum. This is a forum. The occupation will further reinforce a whole lot of factually untrue misperceptions about Occupy Richmond by attracting to that occupation in the Rope Park. Troublemakers, miscreants, hotheads, diminished ones, movement hijackers, and yes, some with deranged personal agenda. Maybe me. You already know that Occupy camps are supercharged magnets that, fill, that attract the full spectrum. The call to immediate occupation will likely alienate many, many interested, sympathetic folks who have been watching Occupy Richmond from the periphery of the action. Calm, deliberative, sober, well-planned action will grow our movement. This action of occupying Monroe Park tomorrow night will not. It will have a negative effect and drive them away. When you put out a loud, fiery, rousing, clarion calls to action, you have no control over who shows up in your midst, nor what they will do after they arrive in your midst. At this point, you still have control over yourself your actions, and whether or not you have a truly wise, strategic, well-planned call to action to occupy. The current call to occupy does not show... Point of process, process, point of process. Yes. Finally, finally, I oppose the schedule for the Park occupation as the wrong choice made in the heat of political passion for the wrong reason. Stand up.